All right, we selected a Monday night. Here we are. You can see behind me, off up there, we got a patch of rain coming at us. I'm with the all famous Domino Dave, smelter guru. So we think, we think tonight's gonna be the night. Well, we I don't could, know about the, the night, but maybe a good night. It's gonna so. be a good night. <laughs> and we have to get some for the campground, so stick around let's see what we can do we're tired we're sore and we haven't pulled any nets yet so we'll see you down on the water well there it is that's laid out any dark yet all the way here the moonlight and some of that rain heading at us but we're hoping it's just going to break apart before it gets here so Pretty soon, another test pull by the neighbor guys here. Rain's coming down, so I'm savoring my camera. Here you go, it's starting to happen. It's got about four. These guys over here did really well. So we're... All right, she's starting now, boys. Take a look up at me, Dave. Okay, so it's starting. All right, so as you can see, the beautiful lights are Duluth. And here's a very, very important lesson that Mr. Domino Dave, the smelt master, is going to show you. If you're coming out here, you got your Duluth net right there. It's got the pocket. You're thinking you're, I am a professional now, but there's one more thing that is super important. Go ahead, Dave. All right, when you set up your net, obviously you can have the... Uh... The length off the net as long or short as you want that's not what the important part in the lesson here is today the lesson here today is something i call a back rope this rope here goes from the top of the pole to the bottom of the pole you get out into the water and you get set and ready to pull take your one foot usually my outside foot i'll loop it through there and then i'll take this rope and i'll put it over my back and that's why i call it a back rope and then when i go to pull all i got to do is walk backwards with one hand and keep the pole on the bottom so that the weights stay low and you can collect all the smelt you possibly can. Without this back rope, I'll demonstrate what you see on the beach here all night long. There's people that got to hold the pole here and they pull and they pull with their arms and their shoulders and they kill their back. So maybe instead of a back rope, I should call it a back saving rope because it just makes everything so much more comfortable when it comes to pulling a big seine net here on the beach. So. There you go. One back rope to make your life a lot better. Awesome. Cutting edge stuff right here. A lot of people don't do it. I'm looking, I'm looking, I can see right over his shoulder right there. Doing the same thing. Their back's going to be sore. All right. Back to smell. All right. I'm still busting my ass. Yeah. Fat guy out here. It's only a little after 10. We've got 12 gallons so far. I don't know how many more we're pulling, but we got to get the damn things back too. So. It's a gorgeous one. Get them, them lights. Oof, yeah. <laughs> Love me the smelts. Yeah, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, it's just horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I think that is, Dave. How many gallons? <laughs> gotta be oh, three. Gotta be three at least. Daddy. We still got some up the side of the net that are uh, wiggling around trying to get back in the lake, but Dad. who cares when you got this many yeah. right here? <laughs> Look at them all up your side over there, Steve. Yeah. Well, that's a good side. You're good pulling. You're up your side like that. Well, there it is. We are going to call it around 1130. Gorgeous out. Six gallon, six gallon, second round. Oof. Well, this is the official end of the video because I can tell you that um, I've only been sleeping for two and a half hours and I got to go to work. That's the sucky part about a Monday night uh, smelt run. But look at that. We did four six gallon buckets last night. Domino Dave, you're a beast. You're going to do great in that uh, grandma's marathon, but I owe it all to you because <clears throat> you carried some big buckets. We had some great pulls, but there it is. 
Lake Superior. It's on fire right now. Can't wait to get to eating.